with paste, and I oh. swear to God, it's the bomb. Welcome back, guys, the Captain's Log. Eric Myers, one of my favorite Oh, my heavens! As he picks his nose, and he's got his teeth fixed now. You look like a whole new guy. Brian, eyes, eyes pretty. <laughs> you are sexy. I'm a pretty little princess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a pretty little princess. I'm trying to drive. I'm trying to drive. You can share. I don't now. give a hoot. How you do I do share it. this? Scroll down and yes. then hit share. My goodness. I don't know where it says. It's going to come up. It's going to come up right, on I'm the scared. page. On the page. All right, hold on. I'll stop while, I, while we do it. I don't I'll know what's happening. So what you have to do is you have to actually refresh it the first time. Because then it shows up. It takes a minute, but that's okay. Right, so how are we doing, guys? Hi, Look guys. It. Vicky is watching. Vicky. Make me some breakfast. Shit. I'm hungry. How do I share this? <laughs> oh, I'm done. sharing it. It's done. Look, it's me. Look, guys, it's Eric within an Eric. Uh, guys, Hi, if peoples. you, uh, first of all, before we start, thank you for joining me. Second of all, anytime, Brian. If you want to get free tickets for tonight's show or tomorrow's show or Sunday, leave a message in the comments. Write something down, whether you, um, Want to go to? Just put in the show. Put in the show you want to come to. Thursday or Sunday. Eric's gonna be there all week with Joel McHale. I's there all week. The shows are sold out except for the ten o'clock show on Saturday. Yeah. Uh, and regardless, uh, we're not gonna give you free tickets for that show. So we, it doesn't matter. We ain't giving you nothing. But we are Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Wednesday, Thursday, Sunday. Come see me. I have a whole new routine about farting. New teeth. New teeth. I got new teeth. Those I got teeth look good though. These teeth do look good. How much are the set of teeth like that? Millions. No, come on. I got them. They were like $800 a crown, and I got three of them, and I need to get oh three more. God. But I had had veneers, and I had fallen down in a alcohol-related incident last year and cracked What's them the out difference? of my head. What's the difference between the two? Lumineers or veneers, they just get cemented to the front of your tooth, whereas crowns wrap all the way around. Oh, this is like... So if you get all new teeth put in, they put in crowns, right? They put in crowns, they file your old teeth down yeah. so they look like fangs, and then they give you the, it takes like three weeks to get the crowns from like the, whatever, the crown factory. So Hi, you, Kelsey. You have like temporary teeth, and my teeth came out at Disney World, so I just had like four fangs, and I looked like oh. Nosferatu. <laughs> like, I was like terrified. Dracula? I looked like Dracula. I was like, how long's the wait for Space Mountain? And people were like, just go! Get him in the dark! <laughs> Jesus of Nazareth! Holy I look like a straight up werewolf. So, did does it hurt to do that? It hurts so bad. They numbed it, and they're like, let us know if you could feel anything. They they file your teeth down to the nerves exposed, and then they spray them with cold water. And I literally jumped out of the chair, and I called My this old lady a word I won't repeat because I was in such agony. But then they numbed it. Then they numbed it again. <laughs> then I could still feel it. They numbed it three times. No way. And then later that night, I went out to Chili's with my parents, and I just had, like, soup dribble. I was like, Aah. I was, like, trying to eat fajitas, and I had my dad had to, like, move my jaw for me. Because <laughs> I was a little baby. My mother does all of her dental work with no pain medicine no novocaine no nothing i asked for heroin and they she said we don't even literally have that the drilling with nothing and the dentist is like I, I don't think i should do this what yes my mother's so scared of it she goes she takes it straight up no i no. i crazy. Asked, i asked for the drug that's crazy i'll go to the dentist just to get drugs they're like there's nothing wrong with your teeth i'm like can i just get the pills let's, let's say hi to keith hey what's going on kelsey keith John. perry's watching are yeah, you related yeah. to matthew perry that's his brother that's his brother is that kelsey yeah kelsey's in the box office kelsey did you share my post what 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 so, what so when i picked you up today you were fired up is it because of the red bulls or is it just when you wake up you are really hyper I was very excited about seeing you and doing the radio. I'm excited it about it. was just about me? I was so excited oh to see God, you, Oh, my God. This guy is not only funny, he's full of bull. I am so full of shit. I got my new... I want to talk about... I have my new serial killers routine I'm excited about. And you have... Um, I, you're getting some play on, what, Sirius and Amazon, too, or what? Where is this stuff being played lately, your new comedy bits? I've seen it. I filmed a one-hour thing yeah. in 2012, and I think it's on iTunes, I think it's on Amazon, and I think it's on YouTube. I, I don't know. People film me, and they keep putting yeah, stuff up. Yeah, they just up, keep putting up. And then people say they saw me here, they saw me there. But sometimes people are in the crowd filming you, and they'll put that on YouTube, right. which 
But it's always like it's like from the waist down, right. and they like forget to do the punchline. So it's yeah. just like my dick and balls, and I'm like, "Yeah, we go to Walgreens," and that's the clip. And like, you gotta come see this guy. And they're like, "What guy?" It just looks like someone's dick screaming to go to. CBS. I know. I had to train my staff too. I'm like, if you guys are gonna put up clips, like it has to be the joke in the start, not just like a guy screaming, you know. Yeah, they would do like little like Eric Myers on stage killing it, and I'm like, so has anyone ever driven? And then the, it's like not even the punchline; right. no one's laughing, and it just looks like I'm saying, yeah, like, you have asking to say the crowd something that's funny. You gotta at least have the punchline, so it looks like people are laughing. But it's also hard to do that. And then they'll do the boomerang, so they'll be like Eric Myers on yeah. stage, and they'll be like me, like this with the mic, like. <laughs> like I'm blowing the mic or something. It looks like something out of some kind of horrible <laughs> robot gay porn. The I don't know, but uh, yeah, the people feel me. But then people will see it, they'll hear it. But then I'm like, it, I try to write like an hour a day because I'm afraid people have heard my jokes so yeah. many times. How do you write? How does that work? Like for a comic, you just grab a notebook and just start. I strip completely something? naked. Do you want me to show you? Yeah, let's do that. No, I do. Start um, from scratch. I spread my ass cheeks to the west, <laughs> and the sun's healing rays inspire me. Always the west? Always the west. The west is best. The west is best. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they say, right? That's, what it, that's what's tattooed on my ass. The west is best. So, best in the west. Now, tell, walk me through it, because the comics are out there. I know a lot of comedians watch the show. And uh, the writing, they, yeah. Let, tell us how it works. How do you write the magic? Let's hear it. Okay. Well, I'll do like I'll do an hour a day, and uh, do you force yourself, or do you just like all of a some sudden days say, I force myself. That was funny. Let me sit down and write it. No, okay. it's got to be like going to the gym. Like even when you don't want to go, you make yourself go. So really? I will sit down. I'll set a timer on my phone, and I'll just free write and. 99% of the stuff you write as a comedian, it doesn't work, it isn't funny, you'll get one thing, but I'll write freehand. Just write, 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 Just write, write, scribble write, write, write. all up. Scribble, and then I'll go back and I'll break it up into a setup and a punchline. You want the setup to be short, you want the punchline to be there, and then you want it, what hasn't been talked about. But wait, do you write out the joke or you write out the idea? I'll just write. I'll write. Well, like, I mean, you just don't say write, 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 write. Something comes out. I'll sit there and I'll be like, I was at Walgreens today and this happened. And why is the cereal $5? What if it was $4? What if the cereal did this? I love Walgreens. I yeah. hate Walgreens. I d I'll do like a thousand different punchlines. I'll go on the internet. I'll go on apps. I'll look for things. You know what irritates me about Facebook? This, this, and that. And I'll say, I, l I hate people that argue on Facebook. What if I, I love, or I love them because I'll milk it for everything. And then I'll go back and I'll say, where's the punchline? Yeah. And what's the quickest way I can get to it? So then I'll write setup. I'll write the setup. I'll try to ax out too many words. Then I'll write the punchline. And then the, you usually do them on Instagram, right? I'll usually do them on Instagram. The big trick, the big thing you want is like one setup and then two or three punchlines, like boom, 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 because that's when the crowd really starts rolling. Then I'll do it on Instagram and I'll... I'll I love your little joke rants on Instagram. I think they're great. Thank I watch you. them. I do watch them. Thank you, but that's a good gauge to see Absolutely. what people like, what people think is fun. Because you never know what's funny until you try it out for the crowd. But then when I, you, if I get one that gets a laugh, I'll go back and I'll add shit to it. So many entrepreneurs starting up, they'll call me, they'll ask for advice, they have these great ideas. They're Well, they're chefs or they're cooking, they want to start a restaurant. I'm like, yeah. go to a farmer's market, test it out. Like, if you go to the farmer's market for a few weeks and you sell like a lot of product, yeah. or at least you actually make money, then it's something worth investigating. Like, and go further and deeper into it. Same thing with a joke, right? You're not gonna write a joke, and then if it sucks on Instagram and no one likes it, you're not gonna keep saying, let's stick with it on stage. I'm imagining. Right, I mean, and jokes- You can't fall in love with it unless the audience falls in love with it. Yeah, I mean, and jokes sometimes, I feel like people give up on jokes too fast. It's like the joke, if you're, ex the thing about comedy is you have to be excited about it. Yeah. Or the crowd's not going to be excited. So you can say anything if it's got that energy, if you're excited about it. But sometimes the joke, you'll have to say it or rewrite it a couple times to where it really snaps. But I'll say it out loud because you want the very last word to be the laugh. Right. So sometimes people will, or I'll say like, and then the dog walked in. You know what I mean? And you don't want to say you know what I mean. You want to say the dog walked in and then pause and let the crowd laugh. Let them figure out you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Yeah, you don't say I know what I mean. But then it's, um, you work the joke, but comedy's like a puzzle. You're like, how can I make this crowd laugh? What hasn't been said? 
And there's ways to say things. You can say dirty things without it coming across super dirty or gross. But um, the big thing is whatever you're excited about, I'll sit down and write. Like, I love the 90s, yeah. so I'll sit down and write. Was Which, by the way, I love the jokes that you do about what uh, people are going to remember the 90s for. Love that freaking joke. Thanks. I wrote two new ones last night. You did? Well, I was thinking, like, what didn't... The whole angle of the bit is like life was harder in the 90s, which it wasn't that much harder, but I'm making it seem like right. in my day. And I was like, what didn't we have? And I was like, okay, we didn't have GPS. What did we have? Okay, MapQuest, not super funny. Maps, gas station maps. So what can be funny about a map? Who has a map? A pirate? Yeah. Yeah. Is pirate funny? Or is Captain Jack... We were like pirates. We were like Captain Jack Sparrow. We were like Christopher Columbus. You say it and you'll try it out. And which one's the funniest? Then the funny thing is the map is like always bigger than the car. You have no idea. Totally. How far is Tampa? It's this far away. Is that far? <laughs> I don't know. And then, um, where's West Palm Beach? I don't know. It's like this. And then, oh, we didn't have Google. We had to look shit up in encyclopedias. What's funny about that? There are a thousand million pages. Yeah. Each, you know, each letter of the alphabet has their own volume. You were always missing one or the page was torn out. So, like. And you had to go to the library. You had to go to the library. You, fo- you go to those folder things. Do you ever do that? Oh, my God. Look at a horror movie whenever they go through, like, the town record. Yeah. What, what are they called? Like, the video file? Oh, my God. They, you had to get the librarian because she's like oh my god like you don't know how to do this you don't know how to do it yeah. and then you know, always <laughs> in the library like five cents and they'd act like you were right. like killed somebody so and bad. um but yeah it was like what didn't we have back in the day where you could make beepers are funny yep I had a joke about laser disc players that never worked, but I was like, do you remember laser disc players? I do. It was like out for two seconds, though. When they came out, and here's why I think, here's, and I'm not joking, but this was the joke. They came out, but they were really expensive, but you had to flip. So halfway through the movie, you had to flip open the laser disc and flip it over. No way! Because the side only held like 45 minutes of video, and I think people were so lazy, they were like, fuck this thing. I didn't even know that was a thing. That's why... Who but- sat in like freaking Warner Brothers videos and was like, yeah, we should put it on this where they have to stop it. Yeah, and it was like this big. It was like a giant... But I remember the video store, they would have like a couple laser discs to rent, and if you had a laser disc player, you were like balling. They want the Dewey Decimal System, baby. <laughs> yeah, that's the worst. What that was the, the worst. The I think Dewey that's the Decimals. thing. Isn't that the thing? <laughs> <laughs> no one uh, ever knew it. Like, you, yeah. yeah, you learned it in first grade and instantly yeah. forgot it. I'm like, where's, like, history? And they're like, it's 300 to 400. I'm so like, I was telling you a story last night. My son uh, heard me that I wanted to have a new hire a video editor. And he's like, Dad, I could do it. He's 13. And I'm like, all right, you probably can. But what program do you want to use? Which one do you know? He's like... I don't know any of them. I was like, all right, so why don't we look? I have Final Cut Pro. We went through Final Cut four hours. He learned pretty much the whole program. It's amazing. And now he's like wanting to do video editing nonstop. But the story is that in school, I literally think in four hours, he just learned more, a way to make more money than he has 13 years in school so far. I, exactly. Without a doubt. Exactly, like, because that's the future. And uh, these kids, I think this generation or Generation Z, it's like 25% of them aren't even going to go to college. They're just going to become entrepreneurs yeah. and probably become billionaires with these apps. But it's like, how many people go to college, get out, and you have $200,000 worth of student loans that you can never pay off? Well, not only and that. you're fucked. Like, who, the whole system fucks you. Right. Who's hiring people based on the fact that they got straight A's in college? I don't know. Like, Fucking it's not nobody. me. It's not me. But the real and world have, is, like, is about... Employees. Yeah, the real world's people like you that, like, get up and apply themselves and don't sit on the couch and be like, my life sucks. Well, fucking go fix it. Yeah. You know, it's like... People were like, comedy, you're never going to make any money in that. But And, and they were right. <laughs> <laughs> I like where that was going. Yeah. That was good. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Look at freaking comics like Louis Black. He didn't make it till he was in his 40s. You have hope. Yeah, but these comics are smart and they make a point. I'm just like, don't no. you hate when you fall down? Funny is and funny. Your and you are by far one of the funniest dudes ever. So that's all you have to work, rely on and just keep working on it. Well, looks and getting everything. the word out there and getting to people to realize who you are and watching the funny. That's all. That's all it is. And if you don't work at that, it's not going to happen. You have to work at it. Just like you writing these funny jokes. They don't just come out of the clear blue. Yeah, and I never cared about the money. I loved being a comedian. I still love being a comedian. Yeah. And I, I, if I never make it, I don't care. Like, I would like to, but I, I love being a comedian. Right. It's my favorite thing in the world. Comedy is the only thing. What are your other options? 
Nothing. <laughs> Begging people for money. What else do you have for options? I, I mean, let's face it. I literally, I was down and out in Hollywood, and I applied for a job at Hardee's, and they said no. No way. Yeah. Wait, I didn't hear this story. This, this is... was at age 37. They're like, you don't have any fast food experience. Because when you put in your application, comedian. Did you tell them you worked at Taco Bell? <laughs> <laughs> you should have. Well, the Taco Bell I used to work out went out of business. The movie theater I used to work out went out of business. So now I'm like comedian for 18 years and these two other places that mysteriously vanished. And like, we think you're making this up. And then I used my dad as a reference and he like forgot. Why didn't you put down me? So if you need a job, you could put me down at any time that you worked. I'll say that you uh, served. Sam, your butler. You served, you cooked, you, you washed the dishes. Whatever the job is, I will just say you did it at my club. I applied That's to be all a, you have to do. I applied to be a heart surgeon. Will you yeah. say I operate? Yeah, I'll be like, yes. He took hemorrhoids out of my ass. <laughs> And that's <laughs> I with think a shovel. Could, you could totally do it. <laughs> <laughs> that's so said, Tim says, "Say my precious" into the camera. My precious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, people already know you. You have fans watching. I, my little fans. They yeah, love little great. Eric. That's great. So, guys, if you want tickets to see Eric, just say it's Wednesday, Thursday, or Sunday. Yeah, stop week. hitting me up for this weekend. And, yeah, and Joel McHale is Friday and Saturday. You're not getting free tickets. You're not getting to see Joel. You are opening for Joel, which I'm is great. I'm the poor man's Joel McHale. So if you want to see Eric on Wednesday or Thursday or Sunday, just put it in the comments the day that you want. We'll respond back and give you a promo code to get free tickets. It's that simple. Uh, we're on the captain's log. We're going. It's we, that easy. Let's say where we just left. We just left 105.5 The Beat. That we was did. on the freak show. That we was great. Did. We you had a good time. It. We did some videos, and now yes. we are going to 1039 with Big Mama. Oh, Babs! Yeah, and My Babs. Girl. And then we're going to go see Jeff Zito. Jeff Zito's very mad at me because I think four weeks in a row we didn't do his show. But it wasn't my fault. He just texted you. I he did. What he, I, said. he said, You son of a bitch, you better show up today. Why I didn't you do his that. show? Jeff's it, so nice. I had a cold one week. One week I had a freaking. Uh, a meeting right at 10 o'clock for uh, my liquor that okay. I couldn't miss. Last week he was out, he was late or something, and, the, and Cindy was sick. Oh, Cindy was sick, that's why. Okay. And now this week I'm gonna do you, I'm gonna bring you in. You have to do a show. So no. it's pretty good. No. Yes. I'm too tired. The struggle is real. Hey, Crystal, what's happening? Crystal's one of our super fans of the Captain's Log. Always what up, watching. Crystal? So when you go to a business meeting for the tequila or the vodka, yeah. do you just like do, do you just like pour them a shot and they drink it and be like, this I is good? I do tastings. I explain to them that it's organic. It's all uh, it's gluten free, sugar free. That the product is all natural, and you know we talk through it to explain the the process of it's filtered forty eight times and. Then I basically say, like, buy it or I'll I'll kill your babies. Yeah. And that's how it works. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So yeah. it's where it's going well. Yeah. <laughs> that's how it works. Buy it or I'll kill your babies. <laughs> I'll murder your entire no. family. No. So um It's so an I, offer they can't refuse. So then we do sit we do a tasting. Okay. Um and if they like it, I basically get them signed up. I need a copy of their liquor license and um then we start, you know, we, we go. I have a distribution company. I put the order in, and they, they start getting orders. I do tastings, and, like, uh, I'll show up at night, and we'll do free samples for everybody in the bar and make everybody, like, order another drink. And really? Like, that drink's really good. What is it? Well, it's Captain Brian, so that's how we do it. Interesting. Look, I'm learning as I go. All as I know is I got a great product. Everybody likes the taste, and from here, I'm just moving forward. Like, have you thought about branching out into other drugs? No. <laughs> Maybe uh, Xanax, Ambien. I have not. I have not. Captain although, Brian's Although Oxycontin. a couple of CBD uh, uh, people have reached out to me. How it's, about your own mushrooms where people I, trip their balls I don't off? Do, I don't and they'll do see you drugs. in the visions cooking shrimp. I don't do anything, though. No. See, I don't have what? any experience in that. I it's hardly okay. drink. Drugs so sell themselves. I just like a good taste. I know a guy. Yeah? Crackhead Willis. <laughs> He'll look you up ten dollars right, a rock. This this log is getting derailed. We got to put this ship back on uh, on the ocean. <laughs> We're gonna walk a plank soon. How many more puns can I come up with? I don't know. You shouldn't have given me that Captain Brian's tequila. Now yeah. I'm hammered. Not true. Not true. I'm so. I don't even make a tequila. You don't? I thought you were going to. I'm trying, but the, the tequila. Uh, you got to make a mezcal because the mezcal is tequila made in the U.S. Uh, so I don't know if I want to do that or if I want to do, um, like I've been outsourcing to some Mexico 
some some distilleries in Mexico and working on it, but I still haven't come up with that yet. So it has to be made in Mexico yeah. to be called yeah. tequila. And legally. only, I guess, in two cities. Hey, let us in. All right, guys. Holy. We're out on the Captain's Log. Peace. Eric Myers uh, is our guest, and we... We're done. That's it. It's what? a wrap. Yeah, it's a wrap. We're gonna I'm be sad. Tune in the radio. Vin watch Diesel's. us. Later. <laughs>